Hi, my friends. Welcome to our favorite channel. Here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends. Keep following my storyline in this content. Enjoy watching. The first type of work in the agricultural sector is to become an agricultural engineer. Agricultural engineering is a field of engineering concerned with the design, construction, and repair of agricultural equipment and machinery. Agricultural engineers integrate technology with agriculture. For example, they design new and better agricultural equipment that can work more efficiently or perform new tasks. They design and build agricultural infrastructure such as dams, water reservoirs, warehouses, and other buildings. They can also help design solutions for pollution control on large farms, aquatic ecology. water areas and associated dry lands relying on them. Working relationship between them, it will cover various forms of plant and animal life from the microscopic to the largest. These species work in an interdependent relationship. If one element experiences a sudden increase or decrease in population, it will have an impact on the wider local ecology. They can further specialize in animal species or study microbes that contribute to the environment. Job roles differ from ecologists in that they are more concerned with aquatic freshwater ecology than ecology in general. Their work may include studying the impact of invasive species or habitat loss, the resulting pollution to water bodies and the impact on life forms. They will also have a good understanding of geology and soil analysis, forest health specialist. Meanwhile, various jobs in the forestry sector are as a forest health specialist. A forest health specialist covers several roles that are not part of the responsibilities of other professionals. Primarily, they will be involved in primary research, data collection, compilation, manipulation, and management. They may need GIS or remote sensing skills. Something other forestry professionals may not have or need in their day-to-day -day duties. Therefore, they will spend about half of their time in the office and half of their time outside. of heavy equipment and their functions excavator bago an excavator bago is a type of heavy equipment that is generally used to excavate land and move soil or other materials into loaded trucks an excavator or what indonesians call a bago is the most common tool on a project because of its various functions apart from its use for digging land excavators have other functions including moving heavy materials leveling the ground Installing foundation rods, dredging rivers, and many others. Bulldozer. Bulldozers are heavy equipment that are generally used to cultivate land. Generally used to push earth material. Excavation results either towards the front side or to create a pile of material. The types of bulldozers currently available are quite varied. Swamp bulldozers are, for example, the type of bulldozer used in swamp work. Crawler Tractor Dozer is a bulldozer that uses centipede wheels. Will Tractor Dozer is a bulldozer that uses rubber wheels. Will Loaders. A wheel loader is a tool that has a function that is not too different from a bulldozer. Namely that it is used to move materials or goods from one tool or place to another. How it works is by digging loading. Then the bucket will be pushed onto the material which will later be lifted. If the bucket is full, 
The tractor reverses and the bucket is lifted upwards to be moved later. Will loaders have other functions, mainly cleaning workplaces or locations, leveling piles of soil and filling them back in, displacing soil over short distances, leveling surfaces or smoothing flat surfaces, and so on, will stop. Vibro roller stump, or what is also called whales, is a tool used to compact asphalt or soil. Surfaces, stumps are often used when making roads. Actually, this tool is called a vibro roller, but Indonesians often call it a stump. Rolling machine or galindong machine on the market. The sizes of this tool are quite varied. Some are small, medium to large. So this tool can be used on a variety of land, from small land to large land. Cranes. Cranes have the function of moving or transporting materials from bottom to top or vice versa. Tall cranes or cranes are generally used in building construction projects. Various materials that are difficult to move using human power to high surfaces, such as building. Roofs are later towed by crane. This tool can move mechanically horizontally and vertically. There are various types of cranes that can be found on the market. Starting from mobile cranes, truck cranes, tower cranes, hydraulic cranes, crawler cranes, overhead cranes, and... Hi my friends, welcome to our favorite channel, here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends, keep following my storyline in this content, types of heavy equipment and their functions, a scraper motor or scraper is a type of heavy equipment that is widely used in cutting slopes or embankment slopes, this heavy equipment can also be used to excavate soil between concrete buildings and can also be used to level highways in the working process. This tool can dig the surface of the soil to a thickness, depth of more than 2.5 millimeters, and can also collect at the desired location, up to a minimum thickness of more than 2.5 millimeters. Asphalt paving. Asphalt paver, or what is often called an asphalt finisher, is a tool that can spread asphalt mixture that has previously been made using asphalt production equipment. The weakness of this asphalt paver is that the centipede wheel rotation maneuver takes longer because the rubber wheels used have a rougher threshold. Diesel hammer. The diesel hammer itself is a tool used to hit or drive piles into the ground, generally. This tool will be used to build foundations for multi-story buildings, bridge towers, piers and other buildings. This tool works by using a steam engine in moving the hammer or beater. Whether the single or double acting steam hammer is used, the hammers used to hit the piles themselves are quite varied. Some have a fixed, hanging model, and some rotate in the vertical plane, roller. Pneumatic tire rollers, or what is often shortened to rollers, are a type of tool used on projects that produce granular materials. Not only that, this tool is generally also used to roll out hot mix layers. Therefore, rollers are often used as soil compacting tools. There are several types of rollers that are generally used, including based on the way they move. Some move by themselves, and some have to be pulled by a tractor, based on the material of the rolling wheel. Some use wheels made of steel and others use rubber or pneumatic materials. Based on the shape of the wheel surface, there are smooth or plain surfaces, sheep's feet, segmented, grid shaped, etc. Based on the arrangement of the roller wheels. Some use three wheels or three wheels, two wheels or tandem rollers and three tandem roller shafts. Use a compactor equipped with a vibrator.net, overhead cranes, at
Hi, my friends. Welcome to our favorite channel. Here we will get to know lots of cool and amazing vehicles and be educational for friends. Keep following my storyline in this content. Enjoy watching. Don't forget to subscribe and keep watching my channel and keep supporting this channel so that it grows quickly. See you.